Hey guys, and welcome back to Satisfactory, Coffee Stains Lakers Factory Simulator slash Ecological Disaster. Last time we went looking for some coal and we managed to get within visual range, but we found ourselves separated by a little bit of a cliff edge. Okay, road the cliff edges, doesn't appear to be any way down. I might just jump down, leave my truck here. Oh, this is this doesn't sound like the best plan. Doesn't sound like the best plan, but I'm gonna try it anyway. We're gonna jump down, we're gonna get out of here. We're going to go see if that is, in fact, the coal that we think it is. Is this actually a lot further than I think it is? I think it is actually a lot further than I think it is. Yeah, those are definitely coal there. You know what? No, because it's so much further than I thought it was. I thought I was like, yeah, we'll just jump down and jump back up. But no, no, that's not. <laughs> because it's so much further, we're going to do this. Are we ready? It's going to be fun. It's going to be frolics. It's going to be absolute carnage. Bam. All right, nice, nice. I just ran over a berry bush there. Not the best. But look at the rooms we've got to work with here. Beautiful. I just need to try and figure out my way home. Oh, look, there's a, a fluffy-tailed hoggy thing to try and attack here. All right, let's let's uh, let's try and get this down. You guys will want to come along with me for this uh, particular uh, encounter. Should have definitely paid more attention there. I've just noticed that I'm actually I am super low of health. Let, let's get up here. Let's do a little swap out. Thankfully, we're... Uh, relatively protected up here so that's cool is he trying to get the bush uh, get the truck sorry i don't know oh that on the other hand is terrifying are they gonna fight each other that's a question no no they're not i think he's trying to come for me this is not the time of day for that oh wait wait wait. we got got that this is not the time of day for battles like this where are you that's semi-terrifying fun to be totally honest with you Damn me terrified. I don't actually know where. He's too far away. Let's back off like that. Look at him. I have no idea how much damage he does to me. Um, I, I don't really want to find out either. If that's all right. Oh, and there's all these guys. All these guys. Just kind of walk around the tractor. That'll be fine. This is going to be quite the battle, it turns out. Three, three sets of bad guy. Three sets of bad guy. Oh no, four. Let's <laughs> go drive away. Just gonna run him over. Drive on. The uh, the truck appears to have taken a bit of a beating, so I'm guessing we need to try and run over this guy first, like that, and then we jump out of here, find his corpse, and we beat him up while he's down. Okay, that's one. Good. Now I've just got to try and get these guys. Did that guy, wherever he is, drop any? Loot? Doesn't look like he did. If I was loot, where would I be dropped? Well, I'd definitely be around here. All right, well, that that's a little bit of a shame. We've got a carapace over here. Uh, we've got one more to take down. Wow, this was, this was a bit more effort than I was expecting. I was expecting a small fight, but not quite to this extent. All right, come on, come on. We can do this. Let's, let's bring it down now. Bring it down. They're gonna, there looks like there might even be more over there. That would not be great. All right, cool. Got him this time. Ooh, any more? Any more of them nuts, please? No, it was about. No, there he is. There he is. I thought. I thought actually we were in trouble. Uh, we're not in trouble because I thought it was a rock. Ah, gonna come for me. Run away. I don't have the right thing in my hand. I've just noticed that thing up. Wow, this is like hostile territory. Like super hostile. To oh man, He's running around. We got this. We got this. We fought you guys before. Yeah. Right in the face, if at all possible. Three hits this time. Thought we were doing two, but that's fine. All right. Wow. Let's go and have a look at this coal, shall we? I'm hoping that we've got ourselves a whole uh, whole bunch of pure coal. Let's have a look. It says normal. Okay, that's that's all right. I suppose we can live with normal. So I've got a miner. Let's uh, break one of these out. Just slap it on there like that. And then I've got a power plant. So we go power coal generator. We want to slap this down somewhere. Nice, we've got a few problems. Let's uh, let's clear this out, shall we? Oh, what's this? What are you, buddy? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know you. You're the lizard dog. Hey, buddy. No, uh, uh, uh. Okay, so I may have actually forgotten the chainsaw. We won't worry about that. I'm going to put this coal generator over here somewhere. It's actually a bit bigger than I thought it was, but that's fine. Where does the stuff go in? The stuff goes in on this side. That's cool. That's cool. And then what we should be able to do is just kind of wander back here somewhat. Press five for the splitter. Uh, that's in a good line. How do we get the? It's not. It's not showing me the good line for this. Okay, so that's 
there and then we just kind of like br bring it back along a little bit it doesn't look like it's going to work with this snap but I'll, I'll take it it'll be fine we'll just do a little bit of a twist here i'm out of plates no i brought extra plates but it wasn't extra enough well i guess we'll try to find out how to go back then and of course the good news just keeps on coming i forgot to bring any beacons with me as well so i can't even mark this spot uh, that's that's not the best. All right, should we try and find our way home? I'm assuming that this is the route this way. Do you not see how there is definitely a biome boundary here? Have we, have we actually stumbled into another place here? I think we might have. What's going on over there? That's the bird. Okay, that's cool. Let's try and not run over all the biomass, shall we? Uh, is there a way up there? There does not appear to be a way up there, but there does appear to be a node of some description. Or is that just a nest of those uh, fluffy-tailed hogs or the hog... hog bluff tails or whatever they're called oh man this this thing super struggle super struggle also your animation didn't work uh but we've a bit to have found the way up okay that's that's good that is super good so we can find the way back pretty easy oh nice little lake as well so I've just been running this wire out as I said I would and when to buy the tree with all the gassy stuff uh, you might remember that I came exploring around this way and went, oh no, and walked up over that way. Uh, and iron. There's iron over there. Uh, we might have to go and check that. We, I mean, that said, we haven't dealt with all the iron that's over this way. There's my space elevator. We're not that far away. I should point this out. Uh, we're just far enough away for me to notice things that I hadn't noticed before. Nice. Uh, so after running those wires back, I came back to find my entire base out of power. And it's not because we ran out of power. It's because we've just topped up at the uh, topped out. Well, rather, we ran out of power. We didn't run out of fuel, if that's the way to go. Uh, do I want to start the record? No, because I'm going to carry on putting down um, power poles. I was like, do I want to do the AI record right now? And then we can figure out how to get there and back. No, no, that's not how it's going to be. Oh, ho, ho. look at this. This is nice. Okay, well, one, two, three different iron nodes there. That's awesome. Somewhere up here. Can I make it up, up here? Yes, I can. I've got a little power pole over there. So obviously that one wants to carry on down thuswards. Uh, there's my there's my little tractor. Let's just kind of hide you in amongst that because that that's obviously what we would do is hide our power lines. I'm also going to just kind of put this here. For future expansion, you don't, you don't know when I'm going to use it, but uh, probably am going to end up using it at some point. Probably same with this limestone I've seen over here, but I think I did also see a couple of like bushy-tailed hogs over there, so I'm a little bit worried about that wire is too long. Oh no, where where does the wire not be too long here? Okay, that's cool. Okay, I've driven a little bit too far away from my power line to actually see what I want. Is it you? Are you the one that I want? I can't actually click on it. That's a shame. All right, one out of four. That sounds good. And then maybe uh, I was hoping that we could take it up onto the top of that over there. But where do we... Here, this is where the power line is not too long. Bam. Trying to find the right route to do these little hops in. You know what we could do with long-range power lines? I wonder whether pylons are going to be a thing later on or something like that. I know we do have Mark II power lines opening up but as far as i'm aware and this might just be me talking out of my bottom uh, as far as i'm aware the only upgrade the only thing that upgrades on those power lines is the number of connections okay this bit's going to be a little bit um legitimately tough uh the reason that i'm doing it at distance is there's those guys there so i want to try those guys being the gas gas spewers you you might remember that we've been having a little bit of troubles with those uh, so I'm trying to keep the distance. We unfortunately need to drive right through here. I'm kind of okay with that as long as we can go at top speed. Bam. Okay, and then we're clear on the other side. Ah, oh, that that's that's pretty cool. No, not clear on the other side. Not clear on the other side at all. Can I come through here? The problem with going through these bushes is I'm destroying biomass. And I'm not overly keen on that. All right, let's see if we can now jump out and try and do this on foot. I'm. Oh, I, I feel like we actually drove a little bit too far. That, can I please get up here? Those le leaves are tasty. Oh, no, no, but that's not quite what I'm after. Okay, there's my power line. Can I connect? No, no, no. Come on, let's have it. I wonder if I can go from over here somewhere. Um, Jump. Oh, no, it's not working. It's not working. All right, I climbed up. I climbed up. It's still not great. There we go. All right, let's turn around and run away now. I managed to do it without getting into the gas line, so that's pretty cool. Why too long here? I'll do it just on this little turn there. That might be a little bit too in the middle, actually. 
Can I redo that? Uh, probably not. It's probably a bad idea, right? Yeah, I can't select. I just heard power go down, really? <laughs> okay, right on the bank should be better. I'm not likely to be driving through there. Same reason I put it next to trees. All right, now that I've taken a moment to look, this is actually the point where me and the truck deviate, or at least me and the power lines deviate. That's probably a better way of wording it. Uh, we want to go this way with the power lines because we're right on top of where we want to be. Yes? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's keep moving this way. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Can you see it? Oh, these slopey, slopey lines. <laughs> slopey jumps. All right, it's a bit of a shame, but we can get up there and have a look. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened there. Well, I do know what happened there. Look at the geometry of this rock. Amazing. I want to pop this like all the way up here so that we can then take other power lines off of it to uh, to demonstrate i want to like put a power line down there and then i also want to put a power line uh, amongst this lot let if i put it there it's not going to be on the uh the conveyor lines and i'm probably going to want another one or maybe you want to destroy this line and put another one there and then that can fan out i don't know we can we can fan out up to like three times when we come inwards so that that should work all right now we need to get the truck round and that's a bit more of a trek also wondering if that biome up ahead is like legit the starting biome i think it look 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 at the giant thing there is that the flapping stingray thing in the sky i i don't want to zoom because that will look horrible but i think i think this is actually starting biome here let's get up and over oh look at those hogtailed whatever they're called but yeah that that's that's pretty that's pretty slick pretty slick we want to get down this way though right yeah Okay, so that's the conveyor belt put up. We can just now connect power and power. I think what I want to do is just grab a little bit of this. Yeah, just, just that much will do. Uh, throw it in there and then pull the lever and see what we get. I don't know how much this produces. Let's have a look. It doesn't actually tell us anywhere. Whatever this jump here is, is what we're producing. But I don't... 50 megawatts? 50 megawatts. Okay, that, that's fine. Every 5.4 seconds. Yeah, okay, that, with a 69% efficiency. Wow. Do we have more coming out of here? We do. All right, as long as this is rolling. There we go. The, the power died there, but I think we'll be all right because this is now more than the two bits that I put in last time, right? And if we just keep on building up like this, one, two, three, four, five. That's like three extra for every two that we put in. That's like... Uh, 150% increase, something like that. So with the five, oh, all right, four. Ah, oh, it eats one when it goes in, of course. That that should give us like seven, eight out this time. Oh, plus there's not the wire up time. Oh, yeah, this is going to be like ridiculously better. Okay, it's nice, easy numbers time. 60 coal per minute, and over here we are produ uh, we are consuming. Sorry, it doesn't tell me how many it's consuming. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Why doesn't it tell us how long the? Hmm. Hmm. Right. That's not 5.4. I'm sorry, that, that is not 5.4 seconds. Do I, do I have a way of doing a timer hangover? I've got a timer on my phone, and hopefully I'll be smart enough to put a timer on the screen. Though, if I've just gone, no, I'm not. Um, that's, a, that's a thing. Okay, count up is ready. Are we ready? Let's... Oh, come on. Let, let, let's go, let's go, let's go. Start. That's five seconds. 9.5. I'm going to say that's 10 seconds due to my uh, irregularities of pushing. Uh, so that's one coal every 10 seconds. Uh, if it's making 60 per minute, we're we going to eat six of them. Uh, so I, we can we can do 10. Is that is that is that right? We should be able to do 10 power plants. But man, not giving the number. That's uh, that's not not helpful, guys. Not helpful. Okay, so I'm thinking that the round trip cost me about 60 on the fuel gauges there. Uh, we left for 128. We've got 56, uh, 57 left. I know that's not quite 60, but uh, there we go. Finish recording and then turn the autopilot off because we will use that, but not quite now. Okay, look at those markers. Might want to continue the recording off afterwards. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out because... Uh, we don't have any truck stops up. We don't have anything like that. I'm not sure if I'm even going to be bringing the coal up here. Uh, I, I've got a feeling we're just going to make the biggest power plant we can over there. Keep everything contained and just use this to move stuff around. Move me around. Not stuff. Me. Oh, whilst we're back, should we have a quick word with uh, Ada here? Green power slug, you say? 
The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Well, yes, I think we will go and check that. But whilst we're here, I'm just going to throw these flower petals in. I thought I'd done the flower petals ages ago, but obviously not. Let's go and have a look in the flower tier one. Uh, it's all the way over here. Overclock production. Look at this. We need to just put a few things in and things that I have got to hand. So we're not too bothered about that. Where are my plates? There are my plates. Awesome. Launch that out of here and get out. I, I don't think we're actually going to get this. Oh, OK. So the green power slug counts. OK, that's... That's interesting. They think that this is an important part of the game, as opposed to, like, the mycelium and the mushrooms and all that lot. So, once again, I've forgotten the chainsaw, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. Bam! Let's get, let's get rid of it like that. The question I've got now... Oh, are we going to get stuck? I think we might. Is that po is it possible to get this stuck? That's that's one question. Of course it's possible to get this stuck. Uh, we, could, we could probably engineer a situation like that at some point. But did I get the wood? I don't think I've got any wood in my inventory right now, or I shouldn't have anyway. Uh, and it doesn't look like I've picked any up. Ah, oh, that's a shame. What about the workbench? Yeah, the, there's like a crafting area in here. No, okay, that, that's fine. That's completely wasted materials. I'm all right with that, I suppose. Okay, so we've put f uh, five coal generators down. We've gone from this bit to jump, jump. Uh, that was the, uh, the two sets of poles being put in. Oh, man. The power, the unlimited power. Are you already hooked up? It says you are. You, uh, it must be what this one is, right? Okay, cool. That's that's fine. Uh, we are, as I say, I've got five, and we are backing up across the board because we can, sh well, we should be able to support double this. But I, I feel like we're doing all right for now. Yeah, yeah. May no, may maybe we will copy this out. But man, where does it go? I don't know. I suppose what we're gonna have to do is try and make a uh, a doubling of this. Like, turn this back to back. What was that little glintiness over this way? Did you guys see a little glintiness? I saw a little glintiness. And, and, despite the, like, filling this bit up with coal power plants, we've only used half of that patch. We've got this patch here. Oh, we can expand almost indefinitely. And with the ridiculous excess of power setup, I suppose there are a few things I want to do before we wrap up. Let's go in and have a word with... Ada about the ma'am here. The analysis of the flower petals is complete. Let's let her have a little bit of a say. She's got words. She wishes me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things, dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 surveillance. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Hub Tier 2. Well, we can definitely do that. Let's go and have a look. Tier 2 color gun. Yeah, I would like to do this. Oh, I'm a few rods short. And there we go. Nice. All right, that should be the color gun. My real question, does it send the pod off? Yes, it does. Okay, so color gun and the power crystal send the pod off. But things like the mycelium and the bacon and stuff like that don't. I find that very, very intriguing. I should imagine it's more to do with the development cycle. Like, they, they had the... the power slug and the color gun pr uh, planned out right from the beginning whenever they did the pod programming i'm guessing uh whereas i'm guessing all the other stuff later i don't know it's all just wild speculation at this point they want me to put t t 10 bits of fabric in some oh man a, a whole bunch of stuff do we have enough alien carapace yes exactly enough all right that's cool i've no i don't think we've actually managed to do this one at any point in any playthrough so this is going to be pretty cool I'm looking at the map around here. You can almost see where the green comes down and touches the desert. And I think this is the edge. That over there is definitely where I went and got the coal from. But if you look, we got some green over there. We got green over there. Is everything on top of that cliff face the green biome? I think it might very well be. And if I've done my timings right, ah, oh, the pod had already made it back. I wanted to watch that happen because we have another milestone that we want to do. Let's come over here and have a look. Of course, the conveyors mark two a lot of you might have been going why didn't you do this beforehand I, I don't know this is just when i've got round to it i suppose because of course we have one a glaring problem in our base it's not it's not a problem it's a it's an inefficiency but unfortunately the inefficiency is right at the beginning oh ada's got some stuff to say encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation yeah that's kind of what i've been doing actually thanks thanks uh so if we use the launch pad i kept keep forgetting about this let's uh, get up and over here 
All right, that's nice. That's nice. Is it going to be a good landing? Oh, we could definitely do with moving that a few, uh, maybe half a width closer. That that would be pretty cool. All right, so we want to have a look over this way. I remember what we're looking at. Uh, we should have in here somewhere logistics mark two conveyor belt. Uh, it's quite an expensive process. It's made out of reinforced iron belts, but if we just click that, it should upgrade the entire thing for us. And look at that, it's flowing really nice. And now these should both be full belts. Yes, yes, good. And it should be fine. Should be amazing. I, I, I want to go in and watch this now all going through at full pace. This should hopefully, if I've worked it out correctly, just flow into here. This all splits down into halves. The halves go through, and there should be zero backup at any point, but it is also working at full, yeah, full capacity. Look, it goes 4-3. 4-3. Uh, okay, cool. That And that'll carry on doing that. Should have a similar situation over here. It takes two ingots, so it goes three and four, two. You, you see how they both come in at the same time. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. So, Which means we should have double the production here. Oh, yeah. And hopefully double the production down here. But, of course, all this is bottlenecked by screws. But I think with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. Bloop. Well, we're going to get on now with our modular frames. We're going to sort all this area out. We're going to make everything all uh, balanced question mark maybe bring out the spreadsheet again and figure out what numbers we need whether the two miners back here can actually keep up with it or not uh of course if you guys want to have a bit of an exploration let me know about that as well maybe we can go back and have a look at the greenlands or maybe we can go in another direction and see i don't know what's over that way uh but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye